Nothing happens at random, but everything from reason and by necessity. By convention there is sweet, by convention there is bitterness, by convention hot and cold, by convention color, but in reality there are only atoms and the void. Student of my young student, in my studies I have found that atoms are made of empty and empty spaces. Standing on Lucifer's work, I created the theory about how there are various basic elements which always existed but can be arranged into many different forms. One will not deny me, I trust, all the theory of oxidation and combustion, the analysis and decomposition of air by metals and combustible bodies, the theory of acidification, more precise knowledge on the nature of a great numbers of acids, notably. When a compound is combusted in a closed system, there is no loss in mass. A powerful idea communicates some of its strength to him who challenges it. I am positive that all compounds are built out of elements in certain definite proportions. How? That's crazy talk! In my experiment, I combined copper, carbon, and oxygen in the ratio of 5 for 1. As a result, copper carbonate was created. I shall subjoin my results as far as they seem to be ascertained by my experiences. them canal rays. What exactly is a canal ray? Well, it's just a stream of positively charged particles that move towards the negative electrode. I'm chemists. Be less curious about people and more curious about ideas. Guess what? What, Marie? I found out how to get the atomic mass of an atom by comparing a known number of the element's atoms to the same number of atoms of hydrogen, the lightest element. Nice. To the electron, it may never be of any use. Guys, look, the glass is half full! No, it's not. The glass is half empty. Guys, it's just half a glass of water. Stop laughing! It's equal amount! In science, there is only physics. All the rest is stamp collecting. Anyone who is not shocked by quantum theory has not understood a single word. Hi, I'm Ernest Rutherford. Niels, Niels Bohr, what you here for? I discovered a positive charge in the nucleus by investigating the inner structure of the atom, which then caused the scattering of alpha rays. Oh, that particle at the center of the electron's orbit, which I discovered. Ah, uh, yes, that one. There will be a fight between these two hypotheses that will cause the life of one of them. I found that light and energy are emitted in small specific amounts from hot objects. How interesting. Ooh, hot. Now that's energy. A person who has never made a mistake never tried anything new. My experiments with wave particle duality, I've found that light has properties of both waves and particles. <laughs> particles! <laughs> yeah! This is a serious topic, young man!
I myself only came to believe in the uncertainty relations after many pangs of conscience. I've got it! You can't accurately find both the place and the velocity of an electron simultaneously! The idea that there might exist small particles with no electric charge has been put forward several times. So James, have you made any discoveries lately? Well, yes, I discovered the neutrons, which is a neutral particle that along with the proton makes up the nucleus of an atom. Wonderful. What we observe as material bodies and forces are nothing but shapes and variations in the structure of space. Based on the Heisenberg uncertainty principle, that the position and velocity of an electron cannot be simultaneously determined accurately, my wave equation, 1 squared, gives a probability cloud of electrons. I contributed the electron cloud model of the atom. What? So basically, what he's saying is that by studying the work of other scientists, he was able to find out where an electron would most likely be.